The youngest Toba eruption occurred at the present location of Lake Toba in Indonesia. Potassium argon dating. This eruption was the last and largest of four eruptions of the Toba caldera complex during the Quaternary period, and is also recognized from its diagnostic horizon of ash fall. The youngest Toba Tuff. It had an estimated volcanic explosivity index of 8 the highest rating of any known eruption on Earth it made a sizable contribution to the 100 times 35 km caldera complex. Dense rock equivalent estimates of eruptive volume for the eruption vary between 2,000 cubic kilometers and 3,000 cubic kilometers. The most common dense rock equivalent estimate is 2,800 cubic kilometers of erupted magma, of which 800 cubic kilometers was deposited as ash fall. The erupted mass was, at the very least, 12 times greater than that of the largest volcanic eruption in recent history, the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia, which caused the 1816, year without a summer, in the northern hemisphere. Toba's erupted mass deposited an ash layer of about 15 cm thick over the whole of South Asia. A blanket of volcanic ash was also deposited over the Indian Ocean, the Arabian Sea, and the South China Sea. Deep sea cores retrieved from the South China Sea have extended the known reach of the eruption, suggesting that the 2,800 cubic kilometers calculation of the erupted mass as a minimum value or even an underestimate. Based on new methods that is computational ash dispersal model using a 3D time-dependent tephra dispersion model, a set of wind fields, and several tens of thickness measurements of the tephra deposit, the Toba caldera complex possibly erupted as much as 13,200 cubic kilometers in total bulk volume. This has led to some sources labeling the youngest Toba eruption as a VEI-9 event. The youngest Toba eruption has been linked to a genetic bottleneck in human evolution about 70,000 years ago, which may have resulted in a severe reduction in the size of the total human population due to the effects of the eruption on the global climate. According to the genetic bottleneck theory, between 50,000 and 100,000 years ago, human populations sharply decreased to 3,000 to 10,000 surviving individuals. It is supported by some genetic evidence suggesting that today's humans are descended from a very small population of between 1,000 and 10,000 breeding pairs that existed about 70,000 years ago. Proponents of the genetic bottleneck theory suggest that the youngest Toba eruption resulted in a global ecological disaster, including destruction of vegetation along with severe drought in the tropical rainforest belt and in monsoon regions. 
A 10 years of volcanic winter triggered by the eruption could have largely destroyed the food sources of humans and caused a severe reduction in population sizes. These environmental changes may have generated population bottlenecks in many species, including hominids. This in turn may have accelerated differentiation from within the smaller human population. Therefore, the genetic differences among modern humans may reflect changes within the last 70,000 years, rather than gradual differentiation over hundreds of thousands of years. Other research has cast doubt on a link between the Toba caldera complex and a genetic bottleneck. For example, ancient stone tools in southern India were found above and below a thick layer of ash from the youngest Toba eruption and were very similar across these layers suggesting that the dust clouds from the eruption did not wipe out this local population. Additional archaeological evidence from southern and northern India also suggests a lack of evidence for effects on the eruption on local populations, leading the authors of the study to conclude. Many forms of life survived the supereruption, contrary to other research which has suggested significant animal extinctions and genetic bottlenecks. However, evidence from pollen analysis has suggested prolonged deforestation in South Asia and some researchers have suggested that the Toba eruption may have forced humans to adopt new adaptive strategies, which may have permitted them to replace Neanderthals and other archaic human species. Additional caveats include difficulties in estimating the global and regional climatic impacts of the eruption and lack of conclusive evidence for the eruption preceding the bottleneck. Furthermore, Genetic analysis of ELU sequences across the entire human genome has shown that the effective human population size was less than 26,000 at 1.2 million years ago. Possible explanations for the low population size of human ancestors may include repeated population bottlenecks or periodic replacement events from competing Homo subspecies. Some evidence points to genetic bottlenecks in other animals in the wake of the youngest Toba eruption. The populations of the East African chimpanzee, Bornean orangutan, Central Indian macaque, cheetah and tiger, all recovered from very small populations around 70,000 to 55,000 years ago. The separation of the nuclear gene pools of eastern lowland gorilla and western lowland gorilla have been estimated to have occurred about 77,700 years ago. Eruption is not known, and surviving populations may have lived in Africa and subsequently migrated to other parts of the world. Analyses of mitochondrial DNA have estimated that the major migration from Africa occurred 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, consistent with dating of the youngest Toba eruption to around 75,000 years ago.